Welcome to the testing word. So now till previous session we have seen how we can create a basic data driven approach in our project where we are defining the static data in code itself and we are using the data in the test case. Now I'm going to one level up here I'm going to define our test data into the excel sheet and we are going to use the data to generate data driven structure. I'm moving to Eclipse. First of all, we need to define an Excel sheet with all with all the data. So I'm starting an Excel sheet. And here I need to define all the data. So I'm defining like so here I'm defining like my username one, password one, you name two, pass two, you name three, pass three. U name four, pass four. That's my login data, and I'm changing the name of the sheet to login. I'm going to save it. Where you want to save it? So if I what I do, I'm creating a folder in my project with the name test data, and I'm going to save my input sheet on this location now i'm going to save it where you want to save it on this location i want to save what's the file name you want to give i want to give the file name test data so my test data is prepared for the login functionality now i'm coming to the excel again here if you notice i'm just refreshing it I'm just refreshing it. So if you notice, test data file is prepared. Now I want to read data from the Excel sheet. So hope you know how to read data from the Excel sheet by using Apache POI. So I'm going to write the same code. And if you have any issues in the Apache POI, then first we need to understand functionality of the Apache POI and then we can implement the structure. But as a prerequisite of this video is you must have the knowledge of Apache POI. So what I'm doing, I'm just making connection with the file like this, what's the file path? So the file path is dot forward slash, that's my current project. Inside the current project, uh, we need to move to the test data folder. So test data, inside that we have the file with the name test data dot XLS. So test data dot xls x and to read data from the excel sheet it will ask for exception handling so throws i'm using throws keyword as of now so now we need to use xsf workbook that is for reading the data from the xls x format workbook and new xsf workbook and here we need to pass object of file input stream Next is we need to move to the sheet level. So X SSF sheet and that is sheet one or I'll say I'll just give the name login sheet. Just the object name is login sheet workbook dot get sheet which sheet you want to work on. So hope you remember. I had just given the name of my sheet was login. So I just pass login over here. I need to find out how many test data we are having here. So if you remember, we can find out number of rows int number of data for that we can use login sheet dot get physical number of rows so it's going to return how many rows we are having in this excel sheet now i need to create because we know that we need to enter all the data into this object array so i'm just creating object array of the two dimension so that is test data 
new object. Here we need to define the size of this array means how many data you want to store in this array. What I'm doing, I will read the data from the Excel sheet and will store in this array and then we will return the array. In previous session we have seen we need to return an object of object array of two dimension. We will read the data from the Excel store into the object array and then we'll pass that object array to the test case. So here we need to give how many rows and how many columns you want to store in this array. So number of rows can be detected from here. How many columns? On this point of time, I know that we have two columns. Even if you have the different number of columns which are changing continuously, you can find out number of columns by the method get physical number of cells. Now I'm running a loop because I need to read the data from the Excel sheet. So I'm running a loop. I is less than I plus plus. Now I want to read data from the sheet. So first of all, we need to create a row object. So XSF row and row login sheet dot get row. Which row you want to work on? I. So this loop will run from 0 to 3. I have four rows, so my indexing will be 0 to 3. I'm running this loop from 0 to 3. First time, zero row object will be created. Now I want to fetch username and password from the zero row. So I'm just creating cell object that is for username. I am going to explain this method one more time later on. Row dot get cell, which cell you want to work on? Zero. And in the same way, that is for password and I'm passing one over here. Now what I'll do, test data i0 and username dot get string cell value. And in the same way, password dot get string cell value. I'll explain this again and now once the loop will be completed it will hold all the data in this array I'm just returning so return test data so method is set here we are giving the name to static but this time I can give any other name I'm just giving Excel and using the name here as well so everything is set now I'll explain you First of all, we are working on a data provider method which is going to generate a test data for us. Connecting with the file, creating a workbook object, then sheet object. Now, we should know how many data we are having in the sheet. So I'm finding physical number of rows which will return four because we have four rows in this sheet. So here it will store four because as of now we have four rows. Now, because structure would be I will read the data from the Excel sheet, store into the object array and then, re then return this object array. So if we are creating array of this object type two dimension array, we need to define how many rows and how many cells you want to store in this array. So rows we find out by this cells. As of now, I know it's a two cell in this Excel sheet, but if you are not aware, we can use a method with the name get physical number of cells and it will give us the cell number as well. Now I'm running a loop for a each row, zero to number of rows means because number of rows is four. So it is going to run a loop from zero to three because it started with the zero. Now, first of all, I have created the object of the zero row. In that row, we have two cells for first for the username and one for the password. So I have created two object of the cells one for the username and one for the password. Here you'll notice row.getCell0 means this cell and row.getCell1 means this cell. Hello friends, hope you're enjoying our videos. And if you find this video is beneficial for you, please subscribe our videos by clicking on this subscribe button. After subscribing, you will get immediate notification for all the videos which we are going to upload. Happy learning!
now by reading these cell data so username cell means this cell i'm just picking the username cell data and storing into the array i i means zero zero index zero one index and on one index we are passing the password data so first it will work for the first row then second row then third row then fourth row all the data will come from the excel sheet and will store in this two dimension array and i'm returning this two dimension array so everything is in this array now now i have changed the data provider name to excel here and here and that we have seen because every time it's going to return one row in one row we have two data one is username another is password so username i'm taking in this variable password in this argument and here we are passing username and password the rest of the things are same i'm just going to execute this this time you will notice it will start executing our test case with the test data which is coming from the excel sheet so ultimately we have implemented the structure where my test data is coming from the excel sheet and we have implemented data driven on the behalf of that so that is running for the second data and then for third data and fourth data you have seen that we have four data in our excel sheet so it should execute four time so that is executing for the third time now it should execute for the fourth time and i'll show you by changing some data as well so it is executing four time if any of the time it's getting failed for whatever the reason it will show and that's very important it is showing for these three data it is passed but for one data it is failed that is most important because same test case is running with the different data and it is showing for which particular data it is passed and failed so we can easily analyze our results on the behalf of test data now if you want i can make some changes like this time i want to keep only two data and for the username i'm just taking un and on second time un2 i'm just changing this test data so you are changing test data you are not changing anything in your code you are just executing it this time it should execute two times because we have two data in the sheet so data driven it is driving from the data because we have only two data so it is driving only two times and whatever the data which is coming from the excel sheet we are using as a test data now so first it is un and second time it's going to use un2 so this time it is executed for the two data only and we are getting results for two data so here we have seen how we can implement a, a data driven structure or i'll say framework with the excel sheet next step would be as of now we have this data provider method in the same class where we are having test case so can we place it in any separate package yes we can place it on a separate package how to do that i'll show you but as of now everything is done we are able to successfully able to execute our data driven framework in which data is coming from the excel sheet that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video hi friends hope you are enjoying this video if you have any question regarding this video you can ask your question in the comment section also i would request you to please subscribe our channel you can subscribe it by click on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis also we are offering are all the video courses at very high discounted price we have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities if you are interested to buy any video course or all video course you can call or whatsapp us on this number also you can be in touch with us by using facebook linkedin or twitter happy learning